Radio, the fan's voice, coming to you live from the Castle Furniture Studio, third in Polk, beautiful downtown Amarillo, Texas, on the All Ag. All day. 1440 AM, KPUR. Kenny, I understand we have got. We do have a guest. I a haven't guest. really met him yet. He doesn't realize he has never officially met the coolest guy in the world in person, but he will in a couple of weeks. Tom Brady. Uh, oh, Kenny McCutcheon. We'll be so in. I'm, yeah, I'm going to love it. Yeah. We're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to go to the West Texas Comic Con. Hello, Ed. How are you? Hey, what's going on, guys? Jesse, Kenny, how are you guys doing over there? Oh, we're doing great. Good. How are you, man? Okay. All right, Ed. Let, we want to get excited. to know you. We're here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. So, Ed, how's first of all, how's the rain down there? It's bad here. How's the rain in Lubbock? Not as bad as here? Hey, it's, it's the same way. It's pouring cats and dogs. It don't stop raining. It started since last night, so... It looks like it's a trend that's going to continue all day. So, Ed, can you say that this is really one time that the the sky in Lubbock is not red? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> okay, Ed, introduce yourself. Tell us what you do in Comic-Con, and then tell us how old you are and where did you grow up. Well, my name's Ed Morales. Um, moved into Lubbock about three, four years ago. Um, I own the newest comic book shop in town, which is Goldmine Collectibles. Um, we also owners and hosts of West Texas Comic Con, which we're going on our third year. Excellent. So basically, when we moved in here, we started started the business, left the oil field. We did oil field for over 15 years. Wow. Ooh. Left the oil field, changed mm-hmm. industry, jumped into something that we liked. You know how they say you. Enjoy what you like. Like you ain't working any single day of your life, and that's exactly what we've been doing. Just enjoying the ride, having a good time um, in the comic book industry, toys, collectibles, games, uh, anything pop culture related. And we put a show together about three years ago. Now, um, Italy started slow back in 2021, which we had our first West Texas Comic Con at the South Plains Mall. It was a very good event. Um, I think we had about 500 people come through, and it was a free event. We are testing the waters. We had a great response from the crowd, from the city. And our following year, which was last year, 2022, just got a little bit bigger, got a bigger venue. Um, we hosted it at the MCM Elegante, okay. which it was a hotel show. We still sold out the venue. We had vendors, a lot of vendors come in from out of town. And that event, we had 2,000 people. Wow. I wow. want to say 1997, to be exact. Oh, awesome. About 2,000 people came through, and it was a great success. You know, this year the, the city took notice, and they, they offered us the city rep, and they said, why don't you guys host it at the Lubbock Memorial Civic Center? Awesome. It was a pretty big, pretty big move for us, and we just jumped in there by faith, you know, and this is where we're at now. This would be our first year partnering up with the city of Lubbock, and it turned out to be a pretty good event so far. Um, the venue is sold out as well. We have over 100 vendors and exhibitors coming in town. And definitely our celebrity lineup has grown. Uh, Ed, we'll get a little bit of, about me. Ed, we'll get to all of the Comic-Con and everything, but let's get to know you a little bit if you don't mind. Ed, Ed and I'll explain this to you. We do a get to know. And if I got, if I got, we got truck jumpers that are the majority of our listeners, which are, you know, Atmos, XL, City of Workers, all that stuff, guy with the windshield delivering that. And if we're talking so much about your event, then we'll think, they'll think that they got to know, forgot they got to know you part. Okay. So let's get into that, and we'll get back to the Comic-Con. How old are you, Ed? Where did you actually grow up? Originally, I grew up in Eagle Pass, Texas, which is a border town, southwest, the southwest region of Texas. I am 41 years old. Um, that was my hometown, Eagle Pass. I live were there the majority of, of, of the majority of all my years. Um, so I got into the oil field. With the oil field, um, I landed a corporate oil field job, oh. and I got transferred to Houston, Texas. So I was in Houston for about ten years. Wow. Ten years out there in Houston. Okay, I didn't know if you were. Throwing, I didn't know if you were throwing a chain or what you were doing in the oil field business. But yeah. getting that that upper echelon kind of management job helps a lot. Okay, Ed, as a youngster. I ran around here in the 806, and I wanted to be Pete Rose in the backyard. Jesse, favorite athlete? Oh, Don Meredith. And who were you, Logan? Oral Hershiser. So who were you, Ed, growing up in that part of Texas down there? It could be a local athlete, doesn't have it, or your favorite teams, but tell us who you who were you in the backyard. It was Ozzie Smith. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
doing backflips? Were you doing backflips? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> the only reason it was Ozzy Smith is because he was the only uh, major leaguer who would visit Eagle Pass. He had a few trips down to Eagle Pass, and he would set up at the mall, and as a seven, eight-year-old kid, you know, getting to meet Ozzy Smith, getting my card signed by him. I don't know how he, he managed to be out there every year, and I just became a big fan of Ozzy Smith. Wow. Yeah, I, was, I remember him playing shortstop with the Cardinals um, in the backflips. I do. Exactly. Okay, uh, what sports did you play as a kid, Ed? As a kid, I did um, baseball, a little bit of baseball, but um, during my high school years, it was mainly basketball. Okay. Um, I also did some football. Um, never hit the varsity. I think uh, last last uh, I had played was probably about my junior year. Oh, okay. Junior year, and that's that's it. Called 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 um, quit on sports. I had an ACL injury. Oh. My left knee got surgery, and I said, "I think I'm gonna hang it up with that with that ACL injury." Don't can't blame me there. Can't blame me there. What number did you wear? And if, and if so, why? Fifty. Fifty. Fifty playing basketball because of David Robinson. I was fixing okay, to say yeah. that famous fifty. David Robinson. Eagle Pass is about two hours away from San Antonio, so when it came okay. down to basketball, it was all about the Spurs. That voice you hear is Ed Morales. He's called in on the Allstate Security Hotline. Allstate Security can secure your house. They have flood warning detection things. They literally have something that goes along the, your baseboard. And if water comes in, and it's not because just of outdoor water, but say your your hot water heater breaks or whatever, uh, our friends at Allstate Security, they secure our phone line. They can secure your, your property. We're visiting with Ed. He's uh, running the West Texas Comic Con, and we've got a great opportunity, and he's going to give us a few tickets to give away. We're going to have a great time. Uh, but we're visiting with him, getting to know him. All right, Ed, we want to talk about your family, and we're going to explain this analogy for you. Offensive linemen, you know the offensive lineman, lineman mentality is. They do a lot of work, a lot of support, but they don't get the credit they deserve. That's what your family is. Whether it's your wife, your kiddos, your parents, brothers and sisters, they support you like the offensive line. They don't get the credit they deserve. Today you're going to give them their credit because you're going to talk about your family, please. Tell us about the people that support you. Well, it's uh, definitely, I got, the whole team backing me up, um, even though we're out here in Lubbock, um, we got the whole team traveling from Eagle Pass, I mean, which includes my my immediate brothers, about three of them, my sister out in, in, in Pflugerville, Texas, and also my mom who's uh, out there in Eagle Pass. So they're making a whole road trip out here and kind of supporting us. They've been doing it since last year. You know, they, they helped me run, run the tables, uh, do just a little bit about every, everything that needs to get done during wow. Comic-Con. That is my home team. Excellent. So it's about 12 of us, you know, also airport pickups, with celebrities and all that good stuff. Just kind of the roles that are a little bit more hands-on when it right. comes down for our guests. So they take a, a big role in that. But, no, they've been a great support since day one. You know, even even us being out there in Eagle Pass and posting flyers and, and just creating a buzz out there. It might look like maybe Eagle Pass is, is asking for a comic convention out there. But we'll see. That might be something in the future. Right. Hey, do you- yeah, I definitely got to give some credit to my family. Okay, are you got a lady in your life? You got some kiddos of your own? I do. I got four kids, and I am recently divorced. Okay. Recently divorced. All right, no. Uh, okay, we'll give you his contact. Single, later. no special lady in the life. Okay, excellent. Uh, okay, which one of them kiddos is your favorite? <laughs> oh, that's going to be tough, but <laughs> I, I got to go with Junior. My boy. Yeah, yeah. Junior. <laughs> junior. About. Okay, so you that, had three. That's name, Junior. Yeah, okay. He, you had three brothers, right? I do. Three brothers. Which one of, them is, which one of those was the troublemaker? Uh-oh. I'll have to say my brother Isaac. Okay. That's what we'll do around here. <laughs> my brother we'll Isaac's the troublemaker. <laughs> okay, wait. Will Isaac be making the trip? He will. Okay. You he need to introduce be. me to him, and that way I can say that to him. Oh, yeah. You okay. will meet him. He uh, will awesome. be there front. front You'll know. You'll you yeah. know when you see we're getting, know, we're getting to know Ed Morales at the West Texas Comic Con. <laughs> it's all on Facebook. It's Googleable. It's one of our favorite words around here. It's Googleable. All you got to do is put in West Texas right. Comic Con and Facebook or just a Google search. You'll find out everything, the list of guests and how you get tickets and the VIP room, all that stuff. Uh, we're getting to know him. Ed, we, we believe if you know people, you support them. So we want to get to know you. And your personality, so we have personality questions. Go ahead, Jesse, grant him a wish and make sure, please, remind me to tell y'all something off the air about this first question that's very, very important that we need to do as a team. No. Okay, so go ahead, get, grant him a okay, wish. Okay, and we'd love to grant you a wish. So if there was a chance that we could get you on any game show, past or present, what game show would you want to be a contestant on? 
think I'm going to go with old school, the price is right. The price is oh, right. Honestly. Okay. Is there a certain game you'd want to play? It would be Plinko or – at, at the end, that spin the wheel, that big wheel. I uh-huh. feel I could, I could spin it pretty hard. Okay, that's what I would, I would aim for. All right. Okay, uh, we got another Go TV ahead. question for you, real quick. I understand that you're going to have the million dollar man Ted DiBiase down there. So me and Kenny love watching pro wrestling, and people will say you're grown men. Don't come why, at us, bro. Why are you watching pro wrestling? It's fake. No, it's not fake. It's predetermined. That's better, but boy. it's a guilty pleasure TV show for us. Is there anything that you watch on TV that you, you find yourself enjoying saying, like, I don't know why I enjoy this, but I do a guilty pleasure show? Oh, guilty pleasure show. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really do not watch any more TV now, now, now as an adult. I'm not a TV guy. TV does not take my time. I don't have time to watch TV. So, okay. But if, if a guilty pleasure, I think I'll still stick with wrestling, to be honest. Right. Hell yeah. I still watch yeah. some wrestling. You know, I try to catch up and be on top of all the, all the wrestling that goes on. Because we have a shop here, and wrestling's huge in, in my shop. So I definitely got to know what's going on. Who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Uh, Hulk Hogan, without a doubt. I was a Hulk Mania. American. Yes. Still am. Hulk Hogan, that's, that's my dream. One day I got to meet the man. Got to meet him. Hogan. Hogan. Oh, yeah. Can't blame him. No, can't blame you there at all. Yeah. 806 Sports Radio, we're talking to Ed. Okay, Ed, we love music around here. We have five radio stations here, maybe four. We have a hip-hop station, top 40. We have an old-school country. We have a new dirt country, and we have a rock station, and, of course, this station. We have a, built a virtual jukebox, which has nearly every song available. So if we give you an 806 token and you drop it in our jukebox and you get one song, tell me one of your favorite songs. What kind of music do you like, Ed? Uh, I listen to a little bit of everything. You know, I, I, I definitely like the old school hip hop. Um, um, I, I, I like listening to Warren G and, and SPM, South Park Mexican, just some of that, that music, uh, Little Troy, just um, some of that music that I kind of grew up with. It just, just you, you hear it nowadays, it takes you back to when you were 15, 16 year old, you know, and then I, I like that feeling. But the, um, music that I prefer nowadays is Christian music. I'm, 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 my faith is big, and every time I listen to the Christian music, it definitely builds my faith and makes me want to push forth towards my achievements, my goals. So that's my music of preference Christian music and basically anything, anything that's Christian, Christian music related. Okay. okay, help me out with a song or an artist. That way I can play something for you, Ed. Uh, some artist, uh, we could do some, uh, um, it'll, it'll be Spanish though. <laughs> it'll be Spanish music. So Marcos Witt, Spanish music. Okay. You know, Marcos Witt, uh, he was, he actually, he was our pastor back in Houston. So we de- definitely listened to him. Um, or you could even do some da- Danilo Montero, who's also a Spanish pastor. He was our pastor in Lakewood Church too. So I'll listen to their music, you know, and build my faith as, as I get my day started, as I'm getting ready for work, you know? Okay, spell something for me, for I can type it in this computer. Uh, let's do the artist name. Yeah, yeah, just a name of some music you like. Okay, just do Danilo Montero, D-A-N-I-E-L-O, Montero, M-O-N-T-E-R-O. Okay. B-A-N, I got that much. Vanilla? Uh, I-E-O. I-E-O. <clears throat> I'm struggling. It's intriguing. Did you find something, Logan? No. <laughs> what? Logan and I are both trying to Google. Oh. Okay, give me one of those I hip-hop it. guys you like. Warren somebody? What did you say? Warren G? Uh, do, 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 uh, do Little Troy. Little Troy, want to be a baller. I love that. Uh, I uh, do not know baller, why. Baller, shot collar. <laughs> I do not know why, but I, I, as a matter of fact, I think I was listening to that song okay. yesterday, Going Home. Do I need to put That's clear? Cool. Do I need to put clean, Logan? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, it should. It might have one or two. Will be, um, I think there, there might be a clean version. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Only 806 play Sports play Radio, the, the fan's voice. Yeah. All right, 
right now. I know a little Troy. I knew that one. We're visiting, <laughs> we're visiting with Ed. Ed, I don't wear headphones, so I can't hear you as clearly as the other guy, so you're not in my head. Uh, so I just was listening. I didn't have it loud enough for you. So, Ed, when you were collecting an autograph from Ozzy Smith, when you're a little kid, how old were you then? Eight, nine? I was about seven or eight. Okay. Eight point zero six. Let's go with that because Ed's joining us on eight oh six sports radio today. When you were there, did you ever think that you would own a company that invited other people to have those memories? If you know what I mean. You own a company now, Ed, that a ki- eight, nine year old kid that wanted to see a Power Ranger is gonna come in and thirty years from now when they're talking on a sports talk radio show owning their own brand like that. You're going to give him that opportunity. Did you ever think it would evolve into that as a little kid collecting autographs? Well, actually, no, 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 none at all, you know, none at all. I think uh, being seven, eight years old, maybe in front of Ozzy Smith or um, catching a Spurs game, it was all just like any, any, any kid trying to see if you're good enough to make the majors or you're good enough to play in the NBA. That was probably the dream back then, but not on a company that deals with celebrities nowadays. I, not at all. That wasn't in my mind. Okay, what's the biggest hurdle that you have? Is it booking guests? Is it trying to get people to help you? I know you bring, you know, by your home family coming here to make sure you have some people that you can trust because it's not that easy to have people like that. What are the hurdles of putting on a big show like that, just coordinating everything? It would be the, the overall picture of coordinating everything, um, trying to uh, catch every detail um, day of the show, you know, and make sure you have everything covered. It's just the small details from even just like having lanyards, badges, uh, event tees, exclusive prints, and, you know, taking care of every celebrity has a list of stuff that they need, you know, stuff that they might eat, they might not want, or they, they request, you know, it's just, there's all these small details and just trying to um, scratch them off at the same time. It's, it is a hurdle. It is. It's, it's, it's pretty tough. Okay. Uh, Ed, Logan talked about Million Dollar Man. Ted DiBiase there, and I understand Butterbean's going to be there as well. Who all are your other important guests, as you want to call it, other than the people that walk in the door? They're the most important of them all. But who, who's the folks that you've got lined up for, for all of us to come see? Well, besides the, the Million Dollar Man, he's also got his tag team partner. You know, we can't, we can't uh, forget IRS. about IRS. <laughs> you know, IRS. You know, actually, when I was looking for another wrestler, I reached out to Ted and he actually gave me uh, Mike's number. He said, why don't you get, get my partner, get my, my tag team partner, you know, because I was leaning more towards Virgil. But we're like, no, let's go with Mike. So Mike, once he knew Ted was on board, it was just, a, yep, it was a green light, you know. And also, um, so he, Million Dollar Man, you got to mention uh, Michael Tund IRS. But then also you got these Hollywood actors uh, like Brian A. Prince, who played the Fugitive Predator the 2018 uh, movie, Predator, and also Paul T. Taylor, who played uh, Hellraiser Pinhead, you know, oh. the movie Hellraiser. Oh, oh, that gave me nightmares. I don't want to meet that guy. <laughs> oh, I do. So, Ed, Ed, real quick, I go to a big Halloween contest, you know, party every year. We don't know where it is till mm-hmm. two days. It's a pop-up deal, but it's really secure, but they just don't tell everybody that way 10,000 people don't show up because there's a $10,000 prize for the contest. This guy was pinhead one year and hands down the best costume I ever saw. The dude must have spent hours doing that. I never saw the movie. I only saw the movie cover at Blockbuster, and it still yeah, me no, it still haunts you. So I can't imagine. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Okay, other guest. What, who else you got? Uh, you got Power also Rangers. We got uh, Burn, Burn oh. Gilliam uh, from Blazing Saddle, uh, 1970s huge movie oh. star back then. He was also in Back to the Future Part Three. Okay, so he's on board. Uh, besides that, of course, we got the Space Rangers. We were with the Power Rangers in Space, which they are celebrating their 30th anniversary what? as a franchise. So we have Miss Tracy Lynn Cruz nice and cool. Christopher Kamen Lee. Awesome. You know? Um, we've also added a trio of Dragon Ball Z voice actors, which includes Tiffany Bomer, uh, Cynthia Cran, and Mark Britton. Mark Brennan plays seven voices of Dragon Ball Z characters. Thanks. So all of them coming and being part of it um, is great for the anime side, you know, trying to uh, have something for anime guests uh-huh. as well. Mm-hmm. So anime fans, fandom, so we got them three voices this year. Last year we just had one. Okay. All so right. Definitely now, now the event itself, is it 
are you separating genres? Is like all the sports cards? Because we have a mini con here. Our friend Steve at SNS Sports Cards that puts on. Uh, Ted DiBiase will be here in October. But y'all go and see him in two weeks. Don't wait. You never know mm -hmm. whenever something may happen. Y'all know how it is. Life changes. Could be a flood and you couldn't get to. And maybe, Ed, maybe you know, uh, Ted might not be able to make it. So make sure you take advantage. Go see Ted DiBiase in a couple weeks. But tell us about this. Are you going to put the baseball stuff over there, the sports cards over there? Are the anime going to be over here? How's the room going to be set up? And will it be like Hot Wheels, action figures? I mean, is it going to be something for everybody, Barbies, everything? Well, our exhibit hall, like I mentioned, we have over 100 vendors coming through. And the way I set it up is just um, I don't have any vendors with the same items together. So if oh, you have okay. a couple, we do have a, our local sports card shop. Um, that's part. They're going to be part of it. So I got them a booth. Um, so you have everything from sports cards, uh, Pokemon cards, uh, all these TCG um, cards that that, that right now are, are, are a hit, from toys, comic books, uh, collectibles. Um, there, 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 there's even going to be some uh, gra grab axes going to be there for axe throwing. They'll have an axe throwing cage. Uh, live wrestling. We have Rampage Wrestling who will be doing a couple of matches every hour. Sweet. And they, they'll be wrestling all day Saturday and all day Sunday, which is our local promotion, Rampage Wrestling. We also sponsor their events, which they have them every month. So you got to get Ted and IRS to step in there. I, I'm not going to segregate. You do anime, you're on this side. I'm just going to spread them all out. Okay, so I like if you're that. a fan That's of good. anime, you're a fan of sports cards, you're going to have to walk the whole exhibit hall to find that vendor or find that, that, that treasure that you're looking for, that item. Oh, that's really good, Ed. It's kind of like a grocery store. Put the milk in the back. You know what I mean? Put the milk in. It's not that way, Ed. They put the milk in the back for you to go through the whole grocery store. It's really not that. That's the easiest play for the refrigeration and being able to load it from the back. But that's a really mm -hmm. good eye of splitting it all up. That way you do get to. Okay, Ed, admission, all that stuff. How It's, it's, it's very affordable. Well, can we get a whole weekend pass? Can we get a VIP pass? Do we buy individual tickets already, or is everything going to be a walk-up? If you want Ted DiBiase's autograph, you walk up, you get a ticket there. How are we going to do all that stuff? Well, it's all the uh, admission. You could buy anything online. We have a website, which is Goldmine Collector Cons. Um, you could go in there and buy your tickets. What's pretty cool about the website, you could purchase three-day pass, which gets you in the door for 30 bucks, which at the end of the day, you end up paying $10 a piece. But then there might be those families or, the, or those uh, congoers who do not want to come all three days. They just want to do a Friday. So if you do a Friday, we do also have single-day tickets. Friday will be $15. Saturday, it's a little bit more. It's 25 And then Sunday, it goes back down to 20 So it's definitely very affordable. And if you got kids, kids are just 5 bucks oh, Any awesome. day, $5 mm -hmm. tickets for the kids. Is the kids 12 and under, or do you have an age limit on that? Correct, 12 and under. Exactly, yeah. 12 and under. Yeah, some of them 12-year-old kids look like grown men. Yeah. <laughs> my 11-year-old grandson. Probably my, my son, my, son I, too. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, my son's one of them. Okay, Ed, I'm going to ask you some things. You can answer them however you want to. If someone's going to travel and they're going to pick one day, what's the day to come? Will Ted be there three different days signing? Will IRS be there? Will the guy from Pinhead, will, will, will Pinhead be there a couple of days? Tell us the day. I mean, come all three days is what I want you to do. But a lot of people can't get away from their family for three days or whatever happens. Tell us, the, tell us like, what's set up on each day, please. Well, definitely, it's good. if you're going to choose a day, honestly, I would. it's, it's got to be that Saturday. Okay. The majority of our guests will be present that Saturday. I only have about three or four guests that will be on that Friday. But the majority are scheduled to be there Saturday and Sunday. Besides why I say that Saturday, we also have a car show, a car show outside the Northwest parking oh, lot. Awesome. We do have over 200 registered cars. And you're talking about low riders, SUVs, Jeeps, lifted trucks, slam trucks. Um, it's a benefit, uh, a benefit car show that is for Project Hub City Smiles, which is a nonprofit organization who gives their time to donate toys and Christmas gifts the less unfortunate here in Lubbock. So we partnered with them, and they're kind of coordinating the car show. So Saturday is the time to be there because of the car show. You don't want to miss the car show. It is also Father's Day weekend. And, I mean, which fathers do not like cars? You know, the majority oh, of them, know. they're all car enthusiasts. So, uh, like you mentioned right now, if you want Million Dollar Man signature, it'll be, it'll be Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, because Million Dollar Man or IRS will not be present that Friday. 
Okay, excellent. So, Ed, if you do me a favor, pass on my contact number onto this Smiles deal. We'd like to maybe talk to them about them helping uh, the 806. I could do that, most definitely. And tie it in a little bit with your event. And, Ed, can I go ahead and do this? This is a disclaimer we have to say sometimes, Ed. Tell people how much I'm charging you for all of this promotion. Really? Zero. Nada. Well, I want to know, Ed. Ed, people, Ed, Ed people really you believe. Reaching out to us and just, just giving us the opportunity to be part of um, 806 Sports Radio and just um, nothing, charging me zero, nothing. It's just it's, it's unbelievable. Well, How much did he pay to say that? who we are, and that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's what I pay. It's what I pay Logan. So <laughs> not really, but uh, Ed, it's it, you know when you have people that just don't like you and they think it's just as an infomercial because we're trying to make all this money and the brand's okay and we just believe in things and I really believe in collectibles. Don't have the biggest collection in the world, but I've been collecting. I was that guy, Ed. I was the guy that would come to your convention. Probably back in the day, I'm not rich now at all whatsoever. We, we pay our bills, and that's about basically all we want to do around here. I was that guy that would have rode the bus down there for $15 to see it, Ted DiBiase or to see someone as a 25, 30-year-old grown man. That was Kenny. That's how Now it's weird. I'm in a business now that I really can't ask for autographs. Like we were talking about yep. that stuff, and you know, I, I pay for my autographs. Even if we're considered chasing a signature or anything, I, that's just not what we do, and I just, I just believe in this industry. It's why we have a memorabilia Monday with our local sports card shop. Tell mm, us, nice. uh, tell us a, a hidden thing that might be at that that we don't know. Are you going to have a little gaming area set up for the kiddos? Tell us something else for people to look forward to at this event. Well, um, we do have a nerd maze that's coming out of Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, he's a vendor who sets up an enormous nerve maze. So you guys want to go to war and battle? Get into right. nerve maze Come on, Logan. And take the kids and let's, let's, let's go. Let's get it. You know, we, we did uh, acquire the banquet room as well just to make it our activity area. So the nerve maze will be present. And on top of it, uh, Dave & Buster's, the newest restaurant in town, has partnered with us. And they will be bringing in arcades and setting up a spin the wheel. And I believe they're giving over $1,500 worth of gifts for the community so they could know that Dave & Buster's is in I, town. I did not know Dave & Buster's was in Lubbock. I that is pretty all. sweet. I did not. Introduced they just opened all. about two weeks ago. So right. that's oh, where's it at? Uh, it's hot right on West Side, Marshall Sharp by, if you know where that Best Buy is at, uh-huh. right mm-hmm. next to Best Okay. Buy. They just yeah. built oh, a new facility. It's like, hey, yeah, Ed, Ed I, I want to mention. Uh, I want to say it's more on the, I don't know exactly. exactly. It's on the West Side. We'll That's find what it. I we'll find it. We'll, we'll talk to them. Ed, I want to mention something to you, and I don't know if you got, got something going on there. Ed, I got the place if you need your phone repaired. All right? If your family, your whole group, if you want to, and they, they may partner up with you a little bit to help you out. Go by there and visit them. Uh, the phone medic, brand new down there. I can send you the contact information of the owner and all that, but they just opened up. There's, uh, they have two locations here, and they have a phone medic, which is one of the greatest repair places. They fix everything, your computers, all that stuff. They'll, they'll get you on the top of Google searches, all that. So if you're going to go by the phone medic, visit with them. Maybe they do a little booth or something. But at least in the future, if you need your phone repair, we got you, Ed. How can I get their contact information? Oh, uh, is it Googleable? Yeah, it is Googleable. Yeah. <laughs> it is Googleable. But I will send you direct contact of the owner, Gabe Morgan. Great guy. There you go. And they get just on board. they That's just awesome. set up. They oh, just man. set up two or three weeks ago. They went around delivering pizzas and desserts to a lot of businesses. So I got something for you down there in Lubbock because we go down there a lot, cover some tech games, and so I'll be able to come to see you. All right, Ed. Before we get you out of here, tell wow. me what the feeling is when you have a show is it that kid with his look on his eyes that he's there in front of you know his favorite anime star is it uh, tell me what the warm feeling is that you get from that is it at the end and you can breathe that big sigh of relief and realize that you introduced a lot of people to the industry what do you get from it feeling as a congor fan or feeling as a event coordinator both owner? both as a fan, it's that feeling you get when you're in front of Ozzy Smith and you're looking at him and you just can't believe it. Okay. The you Wizard know, of I, Oz. I think yeah, a lot of um, are going to go through that when they see Million Dollar Man and the IRS and all these anime actors and the Predator and Hellraiser and Butterbean, you know, Butterbean. Yeah. In the house. Right. 
I remember it's, him it's knocking that out feeling Johnny like, Knoxville. Man, Butterbean, I saw all your matches back in the 90s. Now you're here. You're signing some trunks, signature trunks. Why not? Is that great feeling? Okay. Um, as an owner, event right. coordinator, it's a feeling of relief. You're yeah. like, ah, this is over. Yeah. Yeah. I could Now my days are, I'm a rest. This is done because it, it is a lot of pressure. Um, it's just big weight off your shoulders once the, the convention starts rolling and you have your team, your volunteers, and everyone's got something to do and kind of sit back and just try to enjoy it, but also be on top of trying to supervise, make sure everything that goes run smoothly, you know. There's a fire you got to put out. you got to rush yep. put that fire out instantly, you know. Okay, but yeah. it, there is two different feelings. I try to stay more as that fan gore, fan gore feeling, you know. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's, yeah. That, that's what, that's what I want to experience. Ed, as far as contact information, where can where can our listeners contact you or, or get more information about the, the Comic-Con? Well, we do have a local collectible shop right in the dead center of Lubbock, 2606, 50th Street, right in front of Home Depot, where the newest comic book shop in town. We are open seven days a week from 11 to 7 every single day. If I'm not here, my partner Rob's here. Or my head of cosplay here, Nick. There's always somebody here in the shop. You guys can walk in, purchase tickets, purchase vendor booths. We're accessible. Um, this is uh, an event for the community, um, so we're we're accessible, you know. Or you could just contact uh, the shop directly, eight three two five three five forty five fifty seven. That is the shop number. Uh, contact us directly, and we'll answer your questions. We'll get you guys on board. Ed, will of most of these guests have their own stuff? Like, will Ted have some pictures? Butterbean have some trunks? Pinhead maybe got needles or nails or whatever? They're going to have items to get signed. Of course, you can bring your own, correct? Exactly. Bring your own. If you got your own, if not, they, their table will be supplied with some of their own 8 by 10s or um, caps or pictures. Or Butterbean is bringing trunks. He's driving, he's driving in from Alabama. So he's oh, wow. bringing in trunks, and he's bringing in boxing gloves. Okay, excellent. You can purchase those from his table. All right, Ed, a couple personalities questions out of you. We have great partners here. Listen to these ones, Ed. Tide Dry Cleaners, Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins. They're all over there at 45th and Sauncey. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream, Ed? I'll go with traditional vanilla. Okay, it's Straight the best vanilla. Answer. It's the best answer. I, you can make Rocky Road, any of that stuff out of your vanilla. Try to go backwards. It don't work that way. All right, Ed, last personality okay. question for you. Has nothing to do with anything, not food or anything, just your personality. Ed Morales is running West Texas Comic Con in a couple of weeks. Are you smooth or crunchy, Ed? What's your personality? I want to be smooth. Yeah, we like you. Go with smooth. Yeah, we think you're smooth. I can go there. Yep. I'll let you know when you're putting out some <laughs> fires on, on game day over there on a Saturday and see how crunchy you become, but we understand that. Exactly, but you'll be there, so I might, I might get you to help me out here. I, I would love to help you. Ed, we'll talk about it off the air. Maybe give, maybe we give a family four pack VIP or something away. Uh, we'll do something, but uh, we'll get we'll get all that straightened out, and we'll figure out some way to give it away next week. Good deal. Yeah, definitely. We got you guys. Ed, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, when got, a guy reaches out to you, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, it's just us. It's what we do. We've been doing it uh, nearly ten years, and it kind of works. And <laughs> I appreciate it. I love the industry. Uh, I love I love movers and shakers, and I hope uh, that you know. Four or five years from now, we're talking about your 10th anniversary, if you know what I'm saying. Nice. I appreciate it. I mean, it won't be uh, – we, we need the backup from uh, you guys, what you guys do. We appreciate you guys having us on the air and being able to take this time, get to know us a little bit more and more about the event. So we appreciate it. You know, you guys are the ones that make this possible. Well, yeah, but if you didn't – I tell people all the time, we can't talk about the events if you don't have them. We appreciate the work you're doing. Ed. Go get them. We're proud of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 806.